Hello and welcome back to The Welsh Gardener and in today's video I'm going to show you my five favourite gardening books for inspiration and great gardening tips on how to plant, sow and harvest vegetables. So I will be putting the links to all of these uh, great books down in the description below so make sure you check them out if you want to buy any of them on Amazon. So this will be in no particular order and my first book where I've combined two books and I'm classing it as one book in this because they're both by the same author and they're both really good books. So this is by Hugh Richards, one of my friends, also known as Hugh's Nursery, which is Veg in One Bed and Grow Food for Free. So Veg in One Bed has been out for a year now and then Grow Food for Free has been out more like a month now. So I really like the covers on these and they're really good covers. So I think these are some really good books because especially this one it shows you some really good tips about how to use space well and how to grow in small spaces because obviously it's only in one raised bed so this if you've got enough room for one raised bed this is a must-have book and then if you are on a tight budget as well this book is but definitely a must if you're on a tight budget because this shows how you can grow food for free or just about free and it tells you how you can barter and you can share seeds and just share resources between a community rather than relying on money to buy you everything so the second book i'm going to use or review or show you is going to be this which is one of my favorite books i don't think ever actually which is uh, Practical Self-Sufficiency by Dick and James Strawbridge. So I've had this book for a year or two now and this is uh, this is a go-to book for anything. So even if you're not into gardening, this is good for small holders, anyone who works with animals on a small scale or even on a large scale probably. So it's got, I'll just give you a quick flick through. It's got just loads and loads of information and resources. It's got recipes for cooking, it's got how to look after animals, how to butcher animals, how to... It's just got just about anything that you might need if you're a small holder or gardener to be self-sufficient or even as close to self-sufficient as you possibly can be on your plot of land. So my third one then is going to be all of you who've got a small space, so smaller than veg in one bed would be this, which is grow all you can eat in three square feet. So I haven't read this one for a while, but I really do like it. And it's laid out really well in the way that it shows you how to do, again, in small spaces. But you can also a lot in here about upcycling and about how to grow stuff in pots. So if you're working on a patio scale or even just a small garden, this is a must have, just like Hugh's books at the start. And my fourth book that I'm going to say is Monty Don's Down to Earth. I've This is really good not just for vegetable gardening but also uh, generally as a book and also for flower gardening and ornamental gardening. It's it's just got loads of good tips in there how to plan out your garden and about sunlight, nutrients, watering, just about everything you need to know about gardening you'll find in this book. So again they're all linked down below. And then my fifth and my last book is sort of to do with gardening and this is the bee book and this is it's really good for if you're a bit of a nerd like me on different parts of the garden so such as maybe if you're a nerd on the soil or something like that this is really good because it tells you everything about how bees work and how bees communicate between each other and things like that so it's got all about different types of bees, how long bees have been around, how they pollinate, how they speak to each other, and all things like that. So it's really interesting. So if you're a beekeeper, gardener, or even if you've got a beehive in your garden, this is just great to have. I haven't got, I'm not a beekeeper or I've got a beehive in my garden, but I still love this book because it's really interesting knowing how the bees work and what they're doing in my garden. So I hope you've enjoyed this video where I've shown you my five favourite books for gardening and beyond. 
and also if you'd like to have more great videos like this please subscribe to my YouTube channel and ring the little bell icon next to it to make sure you get notified whenever I upload. So thank you for watching, I'll see you next time.